Honorable Minister of Transportation, Right Honorable Chibike Rotimi Amechi, accompanied by the Permanent Secretary, Federal Ministry of Transportation, Dr. Magdalena Jenny, Director General Nimasa, Dr. Bashi Jamo, the Acting Managing Director, Nigerian Port Authority, Mohamed Belokoko, Chief Executive Officer, Nigeria Shippers Council, Emmanuel Jime, and others, on Saturday, July 10, 2021, took an inspection tour to the ongoing Lekki Deep Sea Port, Nigeria's deepest port, and a multi purpose deep sea port in the heart of Lagos. To come forward during the um, first quarter, a second quarter of 2022. Okay, I just want to. argument that they should complete, they should start commercial activities by the second quarter of uh, 2022. There's no excuse of uh, uh, pandemic or no pandemic. We ran the way we ran the pandemic, we did other things during the pandemic. They should try. If it means working day and night, like we did the way we get on the way, to be able to meet the time line, we worked day and night. They, have, they should be able to provide them themselves with enough security to help them. That's why I think. I just think that look, we need to keep the economy up so that people can get to work, work at the end of the day. But the more, the more you create economic growth, the less you will have of crime. That's, the, that's the basic. There is no denial of the fact that the crime is as a result of poverty. That's the reason. So, what's your general view about what you've seen so far? Well, you know I'm not technical. So, for me, the dilemma is what you see. What I want to see is that this is simple. Have they, have, have they improved from the day we came? Of course they have. The first day we came, there was nothing on the ground. It was just one small house up there. We looked at it and moved away. Second time we came, the vice president had to come to lay the foundations to Again, just one house there, nothing. Today, the key walls are taking shape. The breakwater is, I'm, I'm sure they must have gotten to the end, right? But I want to hope that by the time we come again, I don't know when, uh, we will start seeing that we are going to put some level of finishing touches. Because if this has only come by December, you just have six months to June. Right? June will be the end of the second quarter, right? Mm -hmm. So you want to see that there's enough progress that can make you say, don't have this. Mm -hmm. Actually, so in terms of commercial benefits, uh, what would this add to your commercial you know, I, I try to avoid people asking, telling me I'm arrogant. <laughs> you, you, you know, if there's no commercial benefit, the fact that you're able to move cargo um, ship of 16 meters, currently they only do is STS, ship to ship transfer, right there deep in the water. You want to stop it by ensuring that vessels can come directly to the port, can call to the port and discharge goods. We want to see that cost of goods are reduced. Because honestly, apart from crime that makes our insurance premium to go high, the other the fact that we lack infrastructure. And I, I, I like to quote Fashola who says, at 17, your father buys you a suit to wear. You are still wearing that suit at 30. You get the point? So if you have those two, uh, this is a papa, maybe built in the 60s or the 50s or the 70s, you need to move forward. So this is moving forward. This is what you call progress. We believe that by the time you complete this, complete burning, complete the bomb, maybe and the worry, then you, you have better and more standard seaports. Uh, and do you have any question? Like it or not, you can't move out of the seaport without a new system. It's easier and it's better. It will reduce what people refer to now as the like, uh, Papa Gridlock. It's, it's a new name. It's a name I mean, and just are not used to. If you don't improve on the transportation system and you don't make it efficient, you have the same thing that you are currently having at Papa Seaport, right? So, whoever is the minister at that point, I'm saying what I, what I see at, at, at the hall is that it may not be a priority, it does not mean it's not important. It means that let us first get to the seaport. Then the next thing the minister should do is how to encourage the construction because I'm sure that. Uh, this is this is a bear. This is a bear. I'm sure that the the coastal area will pass through that axis of a bear dam. If the coastal area has not gotten to Lagos by the time we are leaving, you can divert it, but you need to get approval. You can divert it instead of going to Afafa. You can actually come come this way, but it depends on the potential approval. Because you see, I've argued, I've told the Prime Minister the reason why you have Lagos caravan. It's because you want it to come from Lagos, from the, sea, the seaport. There are seaports in, in the whole of the south south. Mm -hmm. If you remove the Apapa seaport and the Jim Tank, the rest four are all they need to come to Lagos. If they are to come to Lagos, it will be to drive it into 
into Lekki mm. seaport and then link it up at uh, mm. where you expect the Kano Kaduna, the Lagos Kano to cross. That way, anybody who is going either way, if you're going to the south, continue. If you're going to the north, join the Lagos Kano. The Honorable Minister is certain that Nigeria will have a better and more standard seaport after the completion of the slated seaports. He also explained the need for seaports and also the linking of seaports in the country. Reporting for Asteric TV, Dario Lujumo.